delusional as well. People hype themselves up to believe that there's something they're not. If you're a hustler, if you're a money getter, then where's your money? If you're a genius and you're smart, then where's your And so, whoever you are, you know, Jay-Z said, you know, you made a Jay-Z, go make another Jay-Z. And that's not a direct shot at Dame Dash. I have no issues with Dame Dash in the world, but I'm just saying, that's one of the most historic lines ever. And I happen to think that Dame Dash is a smart guy, an intelligent guy, but he said it. He made one, go make another one. You can't tell me that because I put Big Pun on, then I put D.A. Gallup. So what you just heard was Fat Joe talking about Dame Dash. You know, this has been going on really since the breakup in 05-ish, the Rockefeller breakup. We never really knew 100% what happened, but we knew it was tension between Dames and Biggs and Jay-Z. Jay-Z came out on Lost One and said, you know, basically, you know, um, I heard MF is saying they may hove, may hove say, okay, so make another hove. So for my younger audience, that's what Fat Joe was talking about. However, Dame Dash re- responded to Fat Joe, listen to this. There's something I want to address. Fat Joe decided to enter the conversation about, you know, the things that I was saying about my experience based on my personal view with uh, the Rockefeller experience and, you know, whatever. Right. And he said some shit like, make another hove and delusional and all that. I saw that. Surprised that fat joke because he ain't got shit to do with it. And, you know, grown men, he's from the street. We don't usually talk on other men's business, so maybe he's changed. But regardless, I ain't got no beef with you, but I have a response to what you said. Number one, make another hove? Why the fuck would I make another hove? He was double dipping. We were paying him highly as an artist, and then he was double dipping from the company, and it didn't make me a lot of money. He did not generate $100 million a year for me. That's why I had to do a lot of other shit. I don't want to make another hose. But I did make a Kanye, a Cameron, pause or help. And, you know, after you do that, I don't have anything else to do. But what I did do was the next year, I started another company called Rachel Roy, and it generated over $100 million a year. So I didn't make another hove. I made another $100 million company, but because you don't speak that language, and most people don't, and a lot of what you know is music, if I'm doing something in another language you don't understand, then it doesn't resonate with you. But do the research, look under the hood, and look at the $100 million company with Rachel Roy that I did a year or two right after that. I don't. All right, so you just heard Damon Dash's response to it. And here's my thing. You know, they they grew apart, honestly, and you saw that in the early 2000s. If in the 90s they was always together, you seen James, Dames, and Biggs, but then when the 2000s came across, you, it was like they had two different separate camps in Rockefeller. It would be like the Damon Dash and Biggs camp and the Jay Z camp, and they just grew apart. Now, there's always been this rumor that Damon Dash has been broke. Trust me, he's good. Look at all his houses whenever he does his interviews and he helped start Rachel Roy. Jay-Z went to start Rock Rock Nation and became a billionaire and Dame's doing this thing on the low. Just because you don't see somebody or know about their money doesn't mean that they don't have it. You know, there's billionaires walking around that you have no idea, but that's the perception and I get it. Dame talks a lot about it because that's all people ever want to ask is what happened. And same thing with Jay, which is why Jay don't really do that many interviews. But we may truly never know the answer other than they just grew apart. And like Dame said, you know, he signed Kanye. He signed Cam the Rockefeller, you know, and, and both of them admitted that. So Dame's done different things. Even when Kanye became a billionaire, 
He said he going to always look out for Dame because what Dame did for him. So Dame is good. You know, and like you said, he started Rachel Roy, which from what it looks like, especially overseas, was a big brand. Mm -hmm. And him and Biggs, Dame, and Jay went to just do different things. But I understand why Dame would, would respond because his name had always been dragged through the mud even prior to Rockefeller breaking up because what a lot of people don't understand, and you can go back and watch all the interviews on the artists, Dame was going at Lior and, and Julie and, and Kevin Lyles because he felt like they were trying to take advantage of his artist. Even Nori from Drink Champs said that Dame helped him get a, a hell of a deal. In the past, and I don't believe Dame even took any money on me. He just did it off the off the love. But I just want to give my two thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think about all this in the comment section.